you want to promote your offer pages, you want to promote your lead magnet. How do you avoid becoming annoying? Let's look at this quote from Salesforce. It takes six to eight touches to generate a viable sales lead. Hmm, what does this say? Because of this fact, we have to be graceful about promoting our offers. Imagine approaching someone at a bar and then the first thing that you tell them is, what's your number? The very first thing. Hmm, too quick, right? That's human nature. Online or offline, we want to be tasteful about asking for the conversion. Imagine the online marketing equivalent of approaching a stranger at a bar, which is, for example, immediately showing up asking for a person's email address, or for example, for the first time that they found your website, you're asking them to buy your $70 product. Too quick, right? We want to be graceful. At the same time, we also want to ask at some point, why? Tons of celebrities on Instagram, YouTube, on social are not getting much out of their following. They're basically in the friend zone when it comes to the internet. The audience expects them to share great content over and over again without ever asking the audience for anything in return. Today, we'll talk about a healthy balance between promotion and sharing valuable content. Our topic is about promoting your lead magnet outside your website. Last week, we talked about how to make your visitors stick. This time, we are talking about driving visits toward your conversion pages from outside your website. All right, you want to stay alert because you will get three actionable tips in the end. My name is Alan. I am from NorthStories.io. And let us discuss three hot stories from the web about this topic. One, two, and three. Let us go to story number one. Five tips that will boost your lead magnets landing page traffic in two weeks or less. Hot list by Powell Grabowski of Beacon. He proposes the following strategies. Number one is to publish a killer guest post on a top industry website. Two is to add links within your Quora answers. Three is to add a link within your email signature. Finally, target long tail search keywords. Okay, he also added a, the tip of letting your email newsletter subscribers know about your lead magnet, which is slightly different because this engages with your existing audience. These are hot topics on how you can drive cold and hot traffic towards your lead magnet, whether they're absolute strangers or they are folks who have already heard from you before. Now, you can always ask folks for their engagement with your brand. Why? This reminds me of what Ryan Dice says. Ryan is from Digital Marketer and he talks about the regular date night. Just because you're already together with someone, whether you're married with someone or they're already your leads or your customers, doesn't mean you'll stop investing in the relationship. Date night has to happen even further down the line. You have to always ask for their engagement even if folks are already in your mailing list, especially if they are past clients and they're not currently within your subscription plans. Your five minute tip for moving forward with this is to identify your top traffic sources for your lead magnet conversions. Do you have your analytics properly set up? Based on the data that you can access, what are the traffic sources that lead to the most number of signups that you are getting? Are they through social, maybe through email or Google? By getting this information, you will know what channels to focus on. Let us move on to story number two. 10 ways to promote your lead magnet on social media. Great 
list of tips from Sophia. Now, she proposes the following opportunities to highlight your lead magnet. Number one, adding your link in bio. Two, using a pinned tweet. Have you tried this before? Three, you want to use your header graphic to point towards your lead magnet link. And finally, use Facebook posts that will link towards your lead magnet, among other tips. I love these social media opportunities. I find that the Heather banner graphic is especially creative. This is your banner at the top of your Twitter or Facebook profile. And you can use an arrow that points to your bio, encouraging them to click the link for a sign up. You really want to focus on your main lead magnet at any given time. Because for example, you may have like five offers. You want to identify what offer to put forward as your primary thing in your bio. When you know what that offer is, you can have your homepage, social media graphics, or other places where you promote one offer to highlight that one specific lead magnet. Your five minute tip for moving forward with this is to list social media bio opportunities for promoting your offer. This can be a pinned tweet, maybe a snippet of text within your Facebook pages about section, your Twitter graphic, or maybe a link within your Instagram bio. Which social network could, you, could refer the most amount of qualified traffic towards your website? Hmm. See how you can add links on your bio. Why the bio? If someone is browsing through your profile and you don't want to be annoying, you don't want to be promoting like all the time, your profile is a great piece of real estate because they are expressing interest and learning more about you. They click to your profile, maybe they googled your name, maybe they googled your brand name, maybe they click your bio because they're interested in a tweet or a post. They're not being interrupted it's not an ad they chose to view your profile don't forget also to add your referral tracking analytics so you can attribute the success all right story number three finally how to build an email list with facebook ads steve weiss of mute six knows facebook ads to capture leads he suggests these opportunities with Facebook ads. Number one is to use Facebook lead ads. More on that in a little bit. Number two is to promote your blog posts. And those blog posts will happen to have links towards your call to actions, your lead magnet. Number three is to drive traffic directly to your landing page. So it's an ad that goes directly to a squeeze page. First, let me highlight the power of Facebook lead ads. We're already using their platform. Also, explore their technology for getting opt-ins. This is a place that allows you to automatically input their Facebook associated email address so they can just hit subscribe within Facebook super fast. It really helps to understand our traffic channels. If you're focusing on Facebook anyway, you better understand its current rules and capabilities like this one. Also, don't forget the gracefulness of promoting blog posts. If you advertise something, might as well warm up the conversation first by sharing a blog post and then later you can do other tricks. Like for now, just start the relationship, offer free value with a blog post. You can have a call to action later down the road. At first, your intention could be merely gaining awareness and you just need one goal at any given time. If you're saying hello to someone for the first time, focus on that. Don't, don't try to propose on the first date. Just say hello first, one step at a time. A great thing about Facebook as well is retargeting. You don't necessarily have to capture 100% of their commitment on day one. You may tag your visitors based on their previous engagement with you. Whether they've watched a video or visited a blog post or click a link, you can tell Facebook to target specific audiences 
to go back and that time you can drive them straight towards an offer whether it's a lead magnet or a low dollar offer later you may offer ads straight to these landing pages based on these rules this way it's like approaching a stranger at a bar you're not asking for their phone number within 60 seconds of introducing yourself you're warming up first and if you tag them as people who are warmed up you can go in and share an offer your five minute tip is to draft a piece of facebook ad this is a creative perhaps this is the first step that will enable you to experiment with facebook ads if you have not already the worst case that drafted material can be published as an ordinary Facebook post or a tweet. By publishing a post with your lead magnet in it, you get an idea of the UX. And then you want to test it with your followers. You may visit your profile after posting that promotion towards a lead magnet and then try to take the, the perspective of a stranger who would have found your post. What does it look like? Is it good that you have that promotion? And then when you click it, is it a consistent experience coming from the post to the offer? That's a great opportunity. All right, there you have it. Let's recap the three five minute tips. Number one is you wanna identify your top traffic sources for your lead magnet conversions. And you wanna focus on the best performing channels. Two, list social media bio opportunities. Is this your Facebook banner or is this a pinned tweet? Check them out. And finally, you want to draft a post that promotes your lead magnet that you can turn into a Facebook ad. Choose one that you will practice today and tweet it to me. Share your commitment. I will hold you accountable at Alan Kaig. And if you want more of this type of content give this video a thumbs up to tell the social network that this is the type of thing that you want to consume and see you again here next week at nordstories.io cheers and have a great day